Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are organizing another difficult to organize space in my home. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Also, huge thank you to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video and let's go ahead and jump into it. So today was produce cleaning day and I wanted to take you guys through my new produce cleaning routine because it has changed a little bit. I learned some new things. All the fruit that you guys see out on the counter is what needed to be washed. But first I had to go ahead and clear off the sink, but I do always wash all of my pots and pans by hand. I have had pots and pans ruined in the dishwasher even though they say dishwasher safe. So now I just wash them by hand, um, especially the ones that I tend to use every day. That way they're ready to go. I always wipe down my sink after I'm done washing dishes I feel like it just gives it that really clean feeling I go in with really really hot water and then some soap and just give it a good scrub then I also like to add some lemons to the garbage disposal just to get it smelling really fresh and clean So you guys know I typically like to do a vinegar rinse for all of my produce, but I recently found out that it's actually better to use baking soda in order to get any pesticides off. I actually had no idea about this, but whenever you buy produce that's organic, all it means is that it's not grown in soil that uses pesticides. However, that doesn't mean that they don't use pesticides to keep the bugs away. So in order to get all of those pesticides off, since it's acidic, you need something that's alkaline and baking soda will actually alkalize your water. Just kind of eyeball it, enough baking soda to cover all of the produce that I'm washing. And then I fill the rest up with water and I let it soak for like two to three minutes. And I didn't believe that this worked until I tried it out. I wish I had strawberries to demonstrate it to you guys, but I did a bowl with vinegar and water and then a bowl with baking soda and water and I washed my strawberries. And the water that had the baking soda was much dirtier than the water with just the vinegar. So I'm a true believer now that baking soda is the way to go to wash all of your produce. Immediately after I'm done soaking everything, I do rinse it like two to three times just to make sure to get any of that baking soda flavor off. I dry everything really, really well because getting all the moisture off your produce before you store it is gonna prevent it from spoiling a lot faster. On days that I have a lot to do, I love Green Chef because it saves me time with meal planning, meal prepping. I don't have to go to the grocery store. And most of the products come already like pre-prepped for you, which is super convenient. Their recipes are delicious. They're chef curated. They feature lots of fresh produce, premium proteins. I absolutely love that everything comes pre-made and pre-measured for you. So you guys can see you have all the sauces that you're gonna need, the exact measurements for everything. And then of course, there's the element of not having to go grocery shopping or think about what you're gonna be making, not standing in long grocery lines. I can feel good about eating these meals and feeding them to my boys because Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company. They have options for every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, gluten-free, vegetarian. And I personally like the option for fast and fit because even though I'm not following like a particular diet, I like being able to just eat healthy, as healthy as I possibly can during the week. And that way during the weekends, I can kind of let loose a little bit. And I do tend to get bored of eating the same thing over and over again. So I love the variety of Green Chef. And if you guys did not know, Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh, which offers even more meal plans to choose from. So there's definitely something for everybody. So today we made the Middle Eastern beef and sweet potato bowls and they ended up turning out so delicious. So if you're interested, I do have a discount code. You can get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box with my code MISSLESSHEART130. And you can go to greenchef.com for more details. I will also leave a link down below. So today's project was organizing this closet that's kind of in between Sebastian's room and our guest bedroom. So it kind of, it's just like a catch it all closet. This is the before shot right here. I know it's really bad. It's just like all over the place. And anytime that we shop at Costco, we kind of like threw stuff in here. It got to the point where we didn't even know what was in here anymore. So what I did was empty it completely. I feel like anything like this where there's just a bunch of miscellaneous items, you just have to get in there and completely empty it so you can see everything that you have. I put a game plan together and decided on what I wanted to store in this closet, things that I needed easy access to. A lot of the bigger bulk items that I didn't need easy access to. I ended up moving them to the garage. Then I could kind of go through my organizers and see what organizers I wanted to use. 
I found this organizer at the container store so, so good for those like tiny miscellaneous items. I will link all of my containers down below for you guys, by the way. I was the most excited to organize my batteries in this organizer because I found out that you're actually not supposed to store them all mixed together like you guys see in this bin. Apparently this is like super dangerous because it can explode. So they should only be stored next to other batteries of their kind. Also ended up keeping things like wall hooks in here, thumbtacks, um, things that help to like help me hang up paintings. All of those random like tiny miscellaneous items that need a home. The next thing that I wanted to organize was all of my first aid kit items. So I feel like this is another one that we kind of just had things all over the place. And I found this organizer, which I actually use the same organizer for arts and crafts. And I thought it'd be perfect for first aid stuff because it has all of these tiny bins that actually fit into each other and it's completely see-through so I can always see what we have in stock and if we're running low on anything and this was just a great place for all of the band-aids for the wraps the new spawn also anything related to like fevers next items that are also really difficult to organize that um, I found myself kind of looking for all over the place are light bulbs also extension cords and then all of my packing and shipping supplies so I ended up dividing those into three different bins and I found these bins at the container store they're so gorgeous so sturdy so these containers are not see-through but I felt like this was just the best way to organize this without it feeling cluttered so I went ahead and labeled these then in the next row in our closet, I decided I wanted some more shallow bins for things that um, we needed to access on a more daily basis, especially for like the guest bathroom. Since you could see everything inside of them, I didn't think that I needed to label them. So this closet is also the closet that's closest to like the guest bathroom. So I also needed to stock it with fresh towels. And I tried two different ways of folding the towels. Let me know which of the two ways you guys like the most. I ended up going with the second way of folding towels just because I felt like it stacked nicer but let me know what you guys think. So I found these little clear things that they're like dividers. You can use them on any shelf. I actually have these in my master closet as well. They're so good. You can use them to like divide things like towels, sheets, blankets. It just helps you keep everything looking really organized. And then right below that is where I put all of my shallow baskets. And I like that the boys can reach the shallow baskets because if they ever need like extra hand soap, they can come and get it themselves. And then towards the top is where I put the rest of the bins and I made sure to put the battery and all of the first aid kit at the very, very top where the boys can't reach. And here's another shot of the before of this closet and the after. And I feel like our home is like finally coming together and we're able to find things. Thank you again to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna have the link down below for you guys and I will talk to you in my next video.